the people. Do you want to say hi to the people? Say hi to the people. Say hi. Say we're a little bit late. We're a little bit min few minutes late. Do you want to say hi to the people? Say hi. Say hi to the people. Want a microphone? Okay, let's get your microphone. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Hi to the people. He's saying it in his heart. He's saying hi in his heart. Okay, he's saying it in his heart. You said it in your heart? You said hi in your heart? He said it in his heart, okay? Y'all just didn't hear it, but he said it. Hey, we started a few minutes late because finally found a <laughs> user manual for the laser. But this is our goal to learn how to use a fusible ink marker with the Cricut mug press. Hey, everybody. Hey, Meredith and Mary. Uh -uh, Palmetto Queen and Dee and Nita and Dazelle. <laughs> and I think I saw Kristen and Jesse and Patrice D and Gloria and MP and Amber. Hey, from Australia. Thank you. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Porgy. Hey, everybody. So this is what we're, hey, Jan and Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda. Sweetly saved. I love that. Okay, graphic design. That's fantastic. This, look, I got tired of printing on the paper every time. Hey, Philip. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, everybody. Hey, Charlene and Cheryl. Two Cheryls spelled differently. Okay, I love it. I love it. I just, I love it so much. Okay, so this is what we're doing. I've already, hey, Tanya and Zelda and Kathy. Shay Shay. Shay Shay, you've been working. Y'all, Shay Shay has been doing a lot of work. Um, we have already said hi to Milo. And so we are going to get started. Now, hopefully you had a chance to, yes, Ozella, thank you. You've had a chance to um, download the document, the note-taking document that is linked below the video. You have every color mark. <laughs> hey, y'all, Wanda. Hey, <laughs> Okay, um, you've had a chance to download the document that is linked below the video. I think he wants to say hi again. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Kawanda. Let's let Milo say hi one more time, and then he's going to sit down. Let me hide that. You want to say hi to the people one more time? You going to say it this time or no? Milo, because they keep thinking that I'm lying when I say you can talk. You going to say hi to the people? You got to say Look up there, you say hi to the people. Okay? Let's do it like we practice. We practice this. You ready? Okay. He's ready. He's ready now. Hey, Sandra, long time no see. Okay. Try it again. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. It is so hard to find good help in 2024. It's hard. It's hard. It is hard to find good help. My love, we practiced this before we went live. You said you were going to do it. You said today was going to be the day that you were actually going to say hi to the people. And you didn't do it. Mary, you just had one. I actually gave him a piece of chicken. I've never done that before. He was very confused. <laughs> he was like, what is this? Meat. Aww. Yeah, he does have an Instagram page. Hey, Ruth. Let's start with a giveaway of my logo. We will start with a DTF transfer giveaway of my logo. Then we're going to go over materials. And then we're going to get started, OK? So let's do that first. And the word that you're typing in is logo one. So let me pull up the StreamYard giveaway tool. 
Let's pull up the StreamYard giveaway tool and you're going to type in logo one and you have to be in the United States. I'm so very sorry. I'm so very sorry, but I cannot ship this out of the country. It's just not worth it for you or for me. Logo one. Let me pull it up so we can make sure we're typing in the right thing. Logo one all together. Logo one. Milo, we're not doing noises. We're not doing any noises. We're not doing any noises. Just like that. Logo one. Just like that. Logo one. Logo one. Logo one. We will do logo one. Start with logo one. We're gonna do logo one. We're doing logo one. We're not doing logo two. We're doing logo one. 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 Logo one, logo one, logo one. I'm gonna show y'all how to press it in case you win it. I think sometimes I, I don't see people press it because <laughs> they don't really know how to do it. Even though when I send these out, I send them out with directions. I wanna make sure you know what you're doing so you're not just Wasting my stuff. Okay, let's see. 320 degrees. Let's put the let's get that temperature on 320. Let's do 15 seconds. Let's do that. All right. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Logo one. Logo one, you have to be in the United States. Logo one, Kimberly Smith, you are the winner. Kimberly Smith, I hope you're in the United States. Kimberly Smith, are you in the United States? Kimberly Smith, are you, are you in the United States? Kimberly Smith, are you in the United States? Kimberly, all right, Kimberly. Look at, that's right, Marcelle. Vol no, stop it. I gave you two chances to say hi to the people and you didn't do it. All right, uh, let me type this. The giveaway is over okay so kimberly what you have to do is send me your mailing address to crafting with delanda at gmail.com send me your mailing address to crafting with delanda at gmail.com send me your mailing address to crafting with delanda at gmail.com when someone wins my logo, I always send this. And these are the directions for pressing. Um, is it dark? Is it too dark in here? I feel like it's really, really good. Um, I, I send the directions for pressing this. So it says set the temperature of the heat press to 320 degrees. So I'm sending it to 320 degrees. Set the time to 12 to 15 seconds. I set my time to 15 seconds. I'm going to pre-press the garment. So in this case, I'm just going to press it on the shirt because I feel like I could never have enough of these because I could wear these all the time. And I do wear these all the time. You got to promote yourself. Let me show you. Let me get a, um, let me get a, a large shirt so we can see what that looks like. Let's get a gray. I'm going to get a gray shirt. It's going to be large. Yeah, and we'll give the shirt away too. How about that? 
not to Kimberly, but to someone. So we're gonna put this on a gray shirt. It's a long sleeve, large Bella canvas. All right, heat press is still heating up. So we're gonna let that do what it's getting ready to do. And we'll get to that. While that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the um, materials that we're using for this project. The giveaway is over. The giveaway is over. The giveaway is over. Can, can someone type that in, please, that the giveaway is over? Please, someone type that in for me. That would be fantastic. Thank you, Sheila Cushenberry. Giveaway is over. All right, let's bring the table up so we can look at materials so y'all can see what we're using tonight. Of course, the star of the show is the, me just joking, the Cricut Mug Press. Um, so this is what I'll be using. Um, in addition to the Cricut Mug Press, I'm going to be using infusible ink pens. I have a lot of them. I even have some packs that are unopened. So they come in a variety of ways. These are just some packs that I had that were unopened. So there's these are the pen style. These are the neons. These are the 0.4. These are actually pens. These are markers. So you see that at the bottom it says markers. Hey, Charlene from Oregon. Um, and then this is the basic set of pens, okay? But I also have a lot of them that are open, and I keep them in this. This little thing came from Dollar Tree. So if you go down that little craft aisle at Dollar Tree, they really do need a name change, right? It should be Dollar Twenty Five Tree, or Dollar and More, or Dollar Plus, or some like a dollar it should be something like that like they should change it like fancy it up cute it up right so anyway i put mine in here these pens right here at the top these tall ones these are the infusible ink freehand markers and they have a double tip um so there is like a you know a, a like a marker of like a wider tip on one side and then a thinner tip on the other end and I got these on clearance. Um, and I think they're pretty good. I do have these linked below the video. Okay. So these work really nice for coloring in. So I like these a lot. And these do not fit in the Cricut when it's time to write, but they help you get your colors filled in very nicely. Okay. So. We're using infusible ink markers. I'm using the markers. I'm only using the, um, I'm not using the pins at all, really. Just the markers. Dollar and some change. I like that. Shay Shay. We need to start a petition because Dollar Tree is misleading. All right. I'm going to use Cricut Mug. So I have this one. And I also have this one, but you could use, you know, whatever color you have. I'm going to use a Cricut mat. I'm using a sub sublimation paper. Also using a Cricut, uh, I call it a heat press mat. I'm sure it's not called that. That's what I call it. I'm going to use my heat resistant gloves. Um, and some butcher paper. And I'm also using Cricut heat resistant tape. Okay. So more than a dollar. I like that. They are. Oh, that's good, Kristen. That's a good idea. Okay. So 
when I first did this tutorial, I did it over a year ago. And sometimes when I look back at tutorials, I'm not even gonna lie, like I cringe, like girl, you said that to the people? Yes, I did. Do I regret it? Yes. Am I taking the video down? No. <laughs> they're gonna be there, okay? The videos gonna they're gonna be there because the videos are a part of me. And if you've seen them all the way from the beginning, like Jesse has, I think Jesse, Jesse will watch a video. If Jesse misses the live, Jesse's gonna go back and watch. And Jesse is still watching videos from when heck was a pup. And I appreciate it. And I'm not even sad about it. Thank you, Jesse. I love that about you. Thank you so much. So anyway, first time I made this, it didn't go so well, but I still drink out of it. My coffee still tastes the same in it and it's still cute. Okay. So there's that. That's when I was whispering. Yeah. And people will, you know, they'll say, they'll come on videos now. They'll be like, Solana, you have really come a long way. And, you know, you could take that as a compliment or an insult. Like, don't you, when people say things that could be a compliment or an insult, you're like, man, I wonder what they, <laughs> it's almost like telling somebody like, you look good today. What about yesterday? <laughs> I didn't look good yesterday because you just said today. Or do y'all wonder about stuff like that too? Because sometimes people say stuff that could be a compliment or an insult. So they say, girl, you come a long way. I'm just like, thank you. But anyway, this is the right side, okay? So same thing, one was mirrored and one was not. But we're gonna go through everything so I can show you, so you don't end up with this, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Apple. Thank you, Regina. Thank you, Tanya. Look, Shay, Shay, that you gotta give, gotta do what you gotta do. I know, like, well, what did I did I look like boiled bologna yesterday? Because you just said you look so good. You could just say you look cute. You the today is where the insult starts to come in, and it's a fine line. It's a fine line. <laughs> so you could have just left that part off. This thing is still heating up. Hand compliment, backhand compliment. Yeah. Like, just leave that part out. Like, did you do something different? No, it's you. It's your eyeballs. I was wondering why you didn't tell me I look good yesterday. You just put it right back on them. That's what I would do. Okay, so those are all of the materials that we're using, okay? Thank you, Regina. Okay, so now Regina, that SVG is in the, um, thank you, Kristen. Uh, the S SVG for that Black History um, video is actually in the, in the Facebook group, but I really want you to try to make it without the SVG, that's why I did the tutorial. Because if you can make it on your own, you can make it on your own. Um, then you'll you're you're doing it. You can do that with other projects. You're not just limited to that specific specific thing. Okay, so that was why I wanted to go back and do the tutorial. Thank you, Regina. That's that's the exact point right there. All right, so that's what we're doing today. I was trying to wait for this to cool off. I mean, heat up so I can show you how to press the um, press the logo because I feel like sometimes when people win, they don't press it or they don't ever like say, Delonda, oh, I pressed it because I think they either mess it up <laughs> or they just like too scared to try it. Vocals for days and months and years. You need to cheat. Thank you, Kawanda, for saying that. All right, so if you have your document from below, you've written down your materials. We're using the infusible ink. Now, let me say something about the sublimation paper. If you don't have sublimation paper, but you want to do this project, you can also use laser copy paper. I don't have any laser copy paper. And since I know that 
you can heat this up. Why wouldn't I use this? I'm going to use this. Thank you. Yes, they're all Kendra Scott. Yes, always Kendra Scott. I, I think I'm telling you, I think I have every color except purple. And that's because I haven't, haven't seen any purple ones. You have, Jen. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. So we're going to get into, let me look one more time. I think we're good. So let me show you how to do this in case you win. And then after I press it, I'm going to give away the shirt. Okay. Now that shirt is a large. So if you know that's not your size, don't be telling me, I'm, I'm going to save it until I, to thy known self be what? True. Because then you're going to be having people tell me, you look good 10 years ago. <laughs> like, what? What about yesterday? What about today? I look good today. You don't know I look good 10 years ago. Anyway, I'm going to do a pre-press on this. We're doing a pre-press? Yeah. Five to eight seconds pre-press. Get a little crease down the middle so you can get the shirt nice and hot. It's a large. I don't have a, I do have an extra large, but we're pressing a large, okay? And, or you can do what I do. When I can't fit something, I just tuck my stomach in it, okay? Because I'm not, y'all not going to have me feeling some kind of way about myself. I tuck my stomach right in that thing. Okay. So this one says, um, I love crafting with Delonda. You could tell it's different from this one because love is in black and this love is in red, right? So this is red and white. This one is black and red, both my colors. And so what I want to do is just put it on the shirt right in the middle. Put it on the shirt right in the middle. Then we'll, let me see what the directions say. Because I'm going to follow the directions in case you win, Kimberly Smith. We're following the directions. Tuck that stomach in the jeans. Okay, set the time. So we pre-pressed. We did that. Place the transfer on the garment 12 to 15 seconds with heavy pressure. So I'm going to close this. I didn't put anything on top, no Teflon, no parchment, no butcher, no baker, no candlestick maker, nothing, right? Just put it right there on top, close it, 15 seconds, then we'll see what it says. Okay, it says, as soon as the heat press opens, think fast. As soon as it opens, peel it hot and fast, don't wait. Peel it hot and fast. You saw me peel it hot and like, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm ready to, uh-uh, just peel it hot and fast. Then it says, place parchment paper on top and press it again for five seconds. Did it say butcher paper? Don't be emailing me telling Delonda, can I just use butcher paper? What does the paper say? Parchment, parchment paper, parchment. Let's say it together. Parchment? Parchment, parchment paper on top. Let's see what it says. Parchment paper, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Then I just open it and it's done. DTF can go on any fabric. It can go on any color. Okay, look. See that? You can barely see the scissors at the top, but they're there. The top of the scissors. They're there. Okay, not Teflon, parchment. Okay. And where did I get these directions from? I got them from Super Color because I ordered the transfers from Super Color. All right, so now we're doing another giveaway and then I promise we're gonna get started. This time you're going to type in shirt. That's it, just shirt. Y'all know how to spell shirt with an I. <laughs> shirt, 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 shirt. Shirt, 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 
shirt s-h-i-r-t don't forget the r shirt <laughs> don't forget the r don't forget the r my little shit they forget the r we don't want them to forget the r we want them to keep the r we want them to keep the r keep the r yeah we do and tuck the stomach in the jeans we tuck it in the jeans we do. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Oh, let me say this before I click draw. You have to be in the United States. <laughs> you have to be in the United States. You have to be in the United States. Five, four, three, two, one. Do they have to be in the United States? Shay Shay, you better be winning all day, day. Cause you know she didn't come to play play. <laughs> Look at Shay Shay. Shay Shay said that's a wrap. I won. That's a wrap. <laughs> all right, yay, Shay Shay. Now don't be talking about you ain't know how to do it. What Delonda said about pressing. We're not doing it. Okay. The giveaway is over. We'll do two more at the end. Okay. So Shay Shay, you know what to do. And Kimberly, you know what to do. Email me, email, 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 email me your mailing address and I will get Peter to drop it off in the morning. Peter is my mailman. I have a personal mailman in case y'all did not know that. Okay. He has never not taken a package. Okay. So thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate that. Crafting with Delonda at gmail.com. The giveaway is over. Kawanda, you are the bomb girl. All right. So the giveaway is over for now and we'll do one at the end. All right. So now let's go into Cricut design space and we're going to say our inside prayers that Cricut design space is going to be cooperative and loving and kind and generous and supportive today. We want Cricut Design Series to be all of that, okay? Kind, loving, generous, supportive. We want it to be everything, okay? That's what we want, okay? Let's go to the window. Let's click on hide. <laughs> okay? I know, Lindsay. I don't. I is. I don't. I don't even. I don't even have. An, I don't even have anything to tell you. I don't even have a reason. All right. So if you're using your document, you have your materials. We are on. I guess number two. Number two would be to open Cricut Design Space, right? Number three will go be go into. Okay. So you're gonna click on projects. And you're going to do a search for mug design setup. So I'm up here at the top. I mean, mug design setup. I'm up here at the top left mug design setup. I know. Okay, right there. And I'm just going to hit enter. Now, I do have this saved as a, um, like I have a bookmark as one of my favorites. And if you don't, I suggest you do because it'll save you some time instead of having to look through all of this stuff. So right here, for me, since I have it bookmarked, I can just go to my stuff where that I have bookmarked, okay? But I'm just going to go through and find it so you'll know exactly which one. This one right here that says mug design setup. And this one, you'll know it's the right one because it has like four different mugs and it has 20 sizes. All of these right here, these were created by other people and they just shared them as projects. But you can see there are only 16 sizes. This one is the one that uh, Cricut made. I know, Meredith. <laughs> That's why I bookmarked it because I got tired of doing this. Um, use this one that has the 20 sizes and then bookmark it when you find it. Okay. 
And I'm using the Cricut uh, 15 ounce beveled mugs. So right here where it says small straight edge, I'm going to scroll down and go to beveled straight edge 15 ounce. Okay, right there. And then I'm going to click customize. All right. Okay, so the third thing we did was we went to projects and we did mug design setup. And we have the <clears throat> template that matches the mug that we have. All right, so now I have this. And, you know, you can look right here. Remember, the layers panel is really, you guys, I don't think I could ever say it enough. The layers panel is, is like your GPS, right? It's, it's your map. It lets you know everything that's on your canvas. Um, it, it tells you everything. So, like, if I click right here, I know that I just have the basic cut selected. If I click right here, I know I can tell what I have selected, right? So I in today, I think it was either today or yesterday in the Facebook group, Kristen was helping somebody with slice and she said, take a picture of your layers panel. And then just by looking at the layers panel, we she could see that the person did not have two, two items selected. So that's why slice wasn't working. Pay attention to what is going on in your layers panel. OK. Yes. All right. OK, so now. This right here, it, it'll even tell you, like, you really don't even need this. This little guide just helps you know where to, you know, line up your image. Now, when I did that D, this, this D right here, all I did was I went over here to images and I did a search for a monogram D. Okay, so I can do the same thing now or I can do something even more simple. So, but let me show you. So I just did a search for monogram D and just uh, click enter. And, you know, depending on what your, you know, your first initial is, you know, you could be, you can look through here and see if there are any that stand out to you that would really do well with the infusible ink. For example, this one right here would do well because I know I could color this, right? I could color in all of these pieces of this. Can I just call it a mandala? Mandala, how, however y'all say it. This one, probably not, because it's already really colored in. And if I took this into the uh, quick to the canvas, I could change this to a pen, but it would just be too much, too many, too much of a solid. So if I'm looking for something that I want to color in, yes, Shay Shay, the layers panel is our friend. Um, if I'm looking for something to color in, then I'll be looking for something like this. Um, let's see another, this is another example. Now that, that's a P, I'm not sure why it's with the Ds, but okay, here's another one right here. You get where I'm going, this one is nice. And that's not really my style. That's definitely <laughs> not my style. Um, but you would find something that you like and, you know, kind of work with it. I like this one right here. I like this one. Because I feel like you can do a lot with this. Let me just... Um, let me add that to the canvas. Let me look at it again. I like this one a lot. I don't even think I noticed this earlier today because I was looking in here. I like this. Those, they look like hearts. Now, <laughs> to color this in, this would be a lot, but I like it. I'm, I'm going to just hold it right there and go back and look one more time. Let me look, um, let me look one more time. I don't know why that one stood out to me so much. Hey, Kevin. Okay, let's keep going. I would say I would make one for my mom, but her name starts with a D also. And so does my sister and so does my brother.
I like this too. I like that. Y'all like everything. Let me just click on that one and then I'll make a decision. I did not want to decide ahead of time. Oh, that's like a little spider, spider web. I like that too. That's pretty. Let me look at, I like that. I think that's almost like, oh, it's kind of like what I had before. I never did see the one that I had um, when I did this one. No, because he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He actually liked that other Tumblr that I made in the PYD Life Press. He loved it. He was like, that's really nice. He started taking it to work. I was like, what? He never liked anything. Mm. Let me um let me look at the butterflies. I saw some really nice ones. Maybe not butterflies. Let me look for butterfly. This is very pretty. Let's go with that. Let me, let me look one more time. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe this, this one. I'll go with that one. So I won't do the D because I already have one with the D. Let's see. Y'all, I can't decide which butterfly, A or B. Which one, A or B? Which one? Which one do y'all think? I know, I agree, A, I think A. I see one A, A, I see one B, A, B. Both. <laughs> oh Lord, no, we're gonna do one. Let's go with A. Okay, so I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to delete this D. All right, so now what I would do is I would bring this down, right? And I would just make it fit up here on this. Let me bring my view back up. So my view right now is on 100%. And let's see. I think that uh, kind of big. Okay. Let's go with it right here. So now I would duplicate it. And um, I just right clicked right there to duplicate this. And I would select both. So I'm going to hold my shift key and select both. Do I have both selected? Yes. How do I know I have both selected? I can look in my layers panel, right? I can look in my layers panel. And what I'm going to do is go to align and align them to the bottom. Now I do want to make this, make them a little bit bigger. Um, and I also want to attach them. I want to attach them. I want to attach the two butterflies uh, together. All right. And so let me um, click right here on this size because I want to make this a little bit taller. Uh, let's see. Hope it doesn't look too weird. If it does, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so now I think this looks good. So now they're still basic cuts, right? This is one layer and they're both basic cuts. In order to change this to a pin, I would have to go down here, go up here to operation and go to pin. And so now it's like not colored in at all. And I would have to tell my Cricut what colors I'm planning to use. Now, because for the outline, I want Cricut to do all of the drawing. I'm going to go back up here to my operation. And right here, where it's on pin, I'm going to click right here on this square. 
and I'm going to, I'm not using the fine point pens, the fine point pens, see how it says fine point 0 0.4, that's these. And you'll know if they're 0 0.4 because it says it right there at the bottom, okay? All right, so pay attention. If you're not getting, like if you're not using the same exact thing I'm using, they're not all the same just because they say infusible ink. These are markers and these are not 0 0.4. These have a medium tip. These are actually 1.0, okay? So pay attention to that. So I'm not using the, the pens. I'm actually using the marker and I'm using black for the outline. Okay, like that. So it's going to color that in for me and I really love that. All right. And if I wanted to, um, I think that looks good just like that. All right. So now really I'm pretty much finished with this. Um, I only use the template for sizing. So I think on my video, I like sliced this. I really didn't even need to do that. All right. So this, all of this right here, I can delete this. Or I could just turn it off. This right here. Let me ungroup this. I don't need this at all. Um, I, I don't need this. Now, if I want to keep it, I can. If That'll just make us feel better. But what I could do is just change this to, I could just change it to white and I can put it back right here with this so it can all cut together. So I have that white square and I have it on top of the butterflies. I can click align and I can click um, center. So now they're centered. And what I would do is cut all of that together. So I want the, the rectangle that's around the butterflies to cut. And I want the, the cricket to actually draw in the butterfly. So I'm going to click attach. So it's doing two things. It's going to cut around the two butterflies and it's going to draw in with the black marker. Okay. This right here, I just wanted to cut. And I'm going to use that to go around the mug so that I don't get any of the ink on my mug, even though I don't think I will anyway. All right, so now I'm really finished. If this had any words, then I would probably mirror this. Um, and I can add words to this. Let's see. Let's add a word to it. And I don't want to use, let me uh, move this over here so we can see what it's going to look like. Let's use something. Let's use a system font. Let's use, let's see. Not that one. Not that one either. Let's see. Almond. I don't love that. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse. <laughs> Let's see Ardilla. Um, mm -mm. Let me see what Barbie Vintage Oh my gosh, <laughs> I know, let's see, um, let's see Bertha, we might have to just go with Bertha, let's go with Bertha, you think Samantha upright, let's see some, maybe that's what I need, Kristen, because uh -uh, none of these, I hope y'all have the Samantha upright, I learned today, they don't even, uh, on Creative Fabrica, oh yeah, that's, that's good, they don't even, um, they don't even have this one anymore on Creative Fabrica. It's not there as an option, this version of it. Okay, so let me uh, weld that so it's just together. And then let me duplicate it.
So I don't want that to be a basic cut. That's also going to be a pin. And I want it to be a marker. Let's do a different color, not black. Let's use, uh, let's use red. How did she come up with red? Cause she did. Let's change this also to a pen and let's change it to uh, a marker. Let's use red. I love it. I think it's going to look great. So now I need to still select all of this and I still need to attach it. Okay. So now it's going to be great. All right. So now um, I'm going to click make. And so I'm going to have two mats. So I'm going to click make. This is my first mat and this actually needs to be mirrored. Okay. So I'm going to click uh, mirror and this is just going to be cut. So right here, I'm going to click continue. I'm going to let my Cricut do all of this. How long does the ink last? Infusible ink is sublimation ink, Jackie. It's, it's, is sublimation ink. So I'm still <clears throat> right here. You can use the infusible ink transfer sheet um, cut setting, or you can use the laser copy paper setting, either one. Um, you can use either one, honestly. But I'm going to use the infusible ink um, transfer sheet, cop, um, infusible ink transfer sheet setting. And I'm going to put this paper on my mat. So here's my mat. Let me uh, stop sharing so y'all can see. So here's my mat. And um, this is a sub sublimation paper. The a sub is just going to go on the mat just like this, just right here in the corner. Just like that. Yes. Hey, Brandon. Okay. And what I'm going to do is go back to my Cricut. I'm going to show you. Uh, let's go over there. Somebody said last time, it's been bugging me. What does it say? Strive for progress, not perfection. Okay. In case you were wondering. All right. So I'm going to put this in my Cricut Maker. All right, and let me see what the what my Cricut is telling me. It says, make sure mirror is turned on. You saw me turn it on. And the material is, is not really inside up. And now I'm supposed to load the black pin in the, um, in here. So I told you I'm using the markers. So this is the marker. And it's 1.0 and it's black. And I keep them, if you're just coming in, I already showed this, right? So I just keep mine in this. I got this from Dollar Tree back when it was still a dollar. And um, what I'm going to do is take the cap off, put the cap here on the, the end. I just put it right here. I'm going to open clamp. I think it's clamp A. Let me look at it. A. And I'm going to push this down until I hear a click and then I'm going to close this and then I'm going to press the flashing C. I don't know how long the pins last Jackie. And I'm going to let my cricket do what it's going to do. So when using the pins and markers, you have to use them. You don't. You can use laser copy paper, but I don't have any. I don't have any laser copy paper. That one is looking very worn out. Let me see this one. 
If it's too, um, I'm gonna try another one. Let me see. But just like sublimation. Um, it's going to look dull before it gets pressed. You use desk jet laser copy paper from Costco. Kristen, I tried Costco one time and it was too crowded. I couldn't handle it. I'm going to pause this and change out the pen. I just press the pause. And I'm going to press the C to resume. That one's looking kind of worn out. Oh, that one is good and dark. I might let it do those first parts again. They don't, Claudette. I found my artist free ones. And I have some from... Oh, I can't remember the name. But these are fine to it. I've never used them. I never used these before. They have some pretty colors. Let's see. Mm. They have a um, very fine tip. I probably should have used this. Hey, sure. Is it Sharon? It is the desk jet. That marker is really thick. Y'all, I found the manual for my laser. <laughs> it was inside the laser. <laughs> I was laughing myself because I don't even know how I function. I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. I got my scissors. I thought I had taken it out, but I did it. loving it I think so Shay, Shay, I think so but I don't have any of that um leather I don't have any of that leather because that's that's exactly what I was thinking but I did let it cut my well engrave my name let me show y'all I just wanted to see what I could do with it so I was just playing around with it look You know, see, you know who that is right there. I didn't really know what I was doing. You know, I was just like, when I did this, I mean, you would have thought I had just won a lottery. 
I'm like, look what I did. He was like, okay. Boy, you better get excited. I'm gonna let this go again because I didn't like the. I didn't, I'm gonna let it go again because it got dark at the end because that first marker I was using was too light. Yeah, it's nice. The hardest part, y'all want to know now? You want to know Thursday? I need to tell Eileen to refresh. Um, y'all want to know right now, the hardest part is that the only way to connect to Wi-Fi is that you have to connect it to the USB first, but how would I have known that? I didn't. And so my computer is all the way over here. Yeah, I messed this up. I'm gonna do it again. Hey, David. So my computer is all the way over here. I put the laser all the way over like way over there by the window but I didn't know that the only way to get to Wi-Fi is to, is to connect by USB first and so <laughs> I had to find the longest US because I wasn't leaving the house now that's just out I found the longest USB cord I had and pulled the laser as close to the table as I could without actually letting it fall off the table and connected it, then connected to Wi-Fi, then disconnected the USB. But you have to connect that way first. And then what else? Um, that was really it. Uh, oh, and then I lost the wood. <laughs> I couldn't find the wood. But I got it to work. Once I got it, once I got it to work, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. It's very, very easy. Like the it's not nothing is hard about it. Um do I have to do it every time? For the laser shake shake? You just have to set it up one time. Once you get it connected to the Wi-Fi, you're good. But you can't connect to Wi-Fi until you connect by USB first. So, let me tell you what I did wrong. Now, it drew in the butterfly. It looks, it's great. But I forgot, I got the We Create 20 watt laser engraver, right? Laser and engraving machine. So this was supposed to be red. Okay, so now I just need to color this in. I think it's going to be great. I wonder if it would have been better to use the the thinner tip um, pins. Because this is very, very filled in. Okay. So then the Cricut, you know, cut around it. So this is actually a rectangle. And if you don't have a sub sublimation paper, of course, you can always use uh, laser copy paper. So what I'm going to do with this is take it off. Remember to mirror. Don't forget to mirror. Otherwise, your words will be backwards. Let me turn it over and take this off. It does. You think the thinner tip? I'm try it again. I'm gonna try it with the um. Look at me.
Let me let my, let me let the cricket. Yeah. I'm going to let the cricket cut this. This will be the butcher paper that I wrap around the mug. I wanted to cut this one and it wasn't on the right one. Cricket is, is really doing the most. Cricket, you're just doing so much tonight. You're just so good. You're just doing so good. Oh, my gosh. I'm just trying to move this down some, but it won't let me. So. Oh, go, Shay Shay. You already won once. You can do it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great, Shay Shay. Just let my cricket cut around this. Um, let me show you what I'm doing. It's just cutting around that paper. That's what I'll wrap around the mug. It's your lucky night. It's gonna be great. Shay Shay is going to win $3 million and buy everybody in this live a laser or something. Right? Right, Shay Shay? All right. So this is the paper that I'll use to wrap around the mug. Right? But I'm going to let my Cricut draw that um, butterfly again. So I'm going to use another sheet of sublimation paper. Putting it right there in the corner. We're going to try it with the thin, the thinner tip. I'm going to try these artist free, y'all. I'm going to try these. Let me see what this is. I don't like those pins. We're gonna see. So I'm gonna try these. Let me stop sharing so y'all can see, 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 see. I'm gonna try these and see how it goes. Look, Kiki, I didn't even send you a message. I think I'm getting a little better. These are fine tip artist free, so we'll see. I've never used these ever. Um, will it fit? Oh, they won't even fit. You have to have, a, I guess, an adapter. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Let me try the thinner tip then. I don't want to use a thin tip. I don't want to. I don't like these. Let me see if I. Oh, I don't like these, y'all.
We're going to see how it works and we'll decide which one looks the best. So this is the thin tip pin. We'll see if it looks. Oh, I don't. This is very thin, but it might look good. Maybe, maybe I'm just sleeping on the thin tip pins. Okay, let's see. Let's go to this one. Let's go to that. Okay, click done. Okay, so let's go here. And we're going to change this to... Okay, let's try it again. So we're going to let the Cricut do it again. Sublimation markers. Yes, so maybe I'll color in with those. Because I maybe I need a, um adapter for those. I'm gonna just draw one straight uh spanky and see how it goes. You think so, Christy? We'll see. We'll see if we, which one we like the best. Anyway, this is the first one with the markers. I don't know. You think the, the thin one, Joan? This is the marker. Right now it's doing it with the... No, it's like super thin. I don't like it. I already don't like <laughs> Look at your face. Fix your face, Delonda. I already don't like it. I'm just going to, I ain't going to lie. I can't. Yeah. I can't fix my face. That is super, super thin. Let me see if I have another one. Oh man, I don't like it. Milo, I don't like it. Do they like it? Yeah. Do I like it? No, I don't. Y'all, it's very, 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 very thin. I do not like it. We get ready to see. Is you can barely even see this. I think I need to have a darker one. These are also markers. I, I think that's the only one that I have that's a pen. It's very, very thin. I don't like it. And I don't have any more. All of these are markers. Look at all these. All of these are markers.
I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to see. Let me load the red. I'm not feeling it, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I can't lie to you. I'm not feeling it. I can't lie to you. I'm not feeling it. I cannot. This is called Cardinal. That's what it's asking for right here. So it's going to draw the uh, sore. Like you can really, really, really barely see it. Lindsay, I'm not loving it. I'm telling you, you can barely see it. So now I was getting ready to cut it. This ain't it. This is not it. <laughs> this ain't it. This is not, I cannot, I'm not going to take it out, y'all. I got to let it go one more time. Can you see it up close? Um, oh, the black one? Now you want to come say hi? Come say hi. Come say it up here. This is for a cricket joy. I'm going to try it. Yeah, I have some. Oh, uh, won't fit. But, um, can't find them. It's YouTube. Hmm. Two, seconds. two seconds peter said he will come say hi for two seconds yeah i pressed the flash and see so i just didn't take it out that's nice hey hey everybody Why you, say you? you look great hey lena the welcome okay. I got to let it go around one more time. Use it, move the inner piece of the clamp where the pin goes in. Yes. Yes. I did remove that when I used the We Are Memory Keepers foiling tool thing. I did do that. But it's getting darker right here, so I might, it might be okay. I'm not feeling it though. When you did your sublimation mug, where did you use transfer tape to lay the picture and use it on the butcher paper? Sublimation mug, which one? Sharice, I did a lot of sublimation mugs. A ton, gobs, <laughs> a bunch, a lot. How many? For the market that wasn't good. I know Christiana is taking a long time. When I did which sublimation mug, Cherise?
Um, I didn't use transfer tape on any of them though. And you know, you can slow the video down at the bottom right corner. If you go to settings, there's an option to slow it down, but it also slows the speed of my voice down, which is weird. <laughs> so I don't know if you want that. Hey, Marlene, the one with you on your wedding day, I did two the same day. I didn't use transfer tape. I use I use a sub sublimation paper. Um, what was the question? Do you use transfer tape to lay the picture? I printed I printed the picture on the. I use my printer. Y'all, I don't think y'all gonna like this. I really don't think y'all are gonna like this, but we'll see. I have been wrong before. I like this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm referring when you process it to put it in the Cricut press. <laughs> Christiana, it is is a thing. When you process it to put it in the Cricut press. When I print the picture, Sharice, it's all like on the, it's, it's, I flattened the images to put them on the, to fit on the mug template. And then I, um, I print them. Christiana, I gotta make room for cricket every week. I didn't use any, I didn't use any tape. I didn't use any tape. I didn't. Uh I flattened the image on the, the mug mug template and then I printed it and then I wrapped it around the mug. So like let's I don't really, I don't really want to use this color because I feel like this that's already going to have a lot of colors. Let's use gray. By the way, are we using gray? Do we like gray? Do you like gray? You're a super, super good boy. You're a super, super good boy. But you didn't tell the people hi. You did not say hi to the people. You did not say hi to the people. And you had your microphone and you did not say it. I saw you not saying it. You did not say hi to the people. You want to treat <laughs> I wish y'all could see his face. I wish y'all could see his face. I'm going to let y'all look at it so you can see it, Kristen. You want to see the colorful mug? Kelly, Kelly, did you get your package? Um, Miss Victoria got hers today. Y'all want to say hi to Milo? We're going to use this one for that. National Love Your Pet Day. I'm going to use the gray because I feel like that one is already going to have a lot of color. It's going to be quite interesting. <laughs> Separate camera for Milo? No, because then y'all won't be focused, Judy. Y'all will not be focused. All right, so now I'm going to take the black pen out and load the red one back in. And let y'all decide which one we're going to go with. You want to say hi to the people? You want to say hi to the people? Christiana said it's love your pet day. You want to say hi to the people? Come on. Let me get your microphone. Let me get your microphone. Calm down, people. You're going to be ready to say hi to the people. Are you going to say it? Look, look, we practice. Look, 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 look. We practice. We practice. Okay, he's ready. He's ready. You ready to say it? Say hi to the people. <clears throat> Say hi to the people. Milo, 
You're supposed to be saying hi to the people. You want a treat treat? That's all you care about? It's a treat treat. Say hi to Kristen. Say hi to Kawanda. I give up. Let me give him a treat since he's here. You want a treat treat? He's gonna be super, super good. Come on. He's gonna be super, super good. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we had chicken today for the first time. He was super, super good. Okay. All right, let's look at it. It's not good. Look at that. Y'all see how light it is? <laughs> Shesh, uh, uh, Spanky. He does. Y'all, it's so light. Let me get it off the mat. It's too light. Well, maybe if I color it in with the um, artist free markers, it won't be bad because I don't know. We'll see. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? This one? This one? How do I prime it more, Kristen? Y'all like the darker one? Might as well just do both. Might as well just do both and we'll see. Yeah, I'll just do both and we'll see. I'm going to use the um, Artist Free do both. I'm going to use the, uh-oh. I'll use the Artist Free markers for the thick one since they are thin. Milo, stop. I'll use the Artist Free markers for this one. They're the same thing. They're called sublimation markers, iron-on ink. I've never used these before. Okay, can you take a pen and go over it by hand? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Zella, I'm totally not good at that at all. It would be terrible, okay? you want? Do you want me to do something terrible on camera? You don't want that for me. I, I know you don't. You could not. Cannot do that. Too light. You getting ready to see? And then for the one that is um, light, I'll use the freehand markers. Okay. All right. Let's see how it goes. Look, we getting ready to do what? Learn together. We're learning together. <laughs> We're going to learn together. We're going to learn together. All right. Let me bring the table up. All right. Let's 
see what colors are in here. There are 10, 10 colors. Yellow, pink, gray, black, brown, blue, purple, green, orange, and red. Hey, Eve. And whatever I do over here, I'm just going to repeat it over here. And of course, I'm always going to start with red. Morgan, where is baby? What about hello, mother? Y'all, this is my daughter right here. Where about, what about hello to your mother? How about that? How about that? Not, not, hey, mom, mm -mm. where's baby? Y'all know what she's talking about when she says baby. She's talking about this dog right here behind me. Not, hi, mom, how was your day? I miss you, you're great. None of those things. Where's baby? Y'all, I'm just coloring random. It's not even going to be like a method. You want to see him, Morgan? I just showed him. Milo, you want to say hey to Morgan? Hmm? Want to say hey to Morgan? Oh, y'all, I'm... I've, mm -mm. These about to be a no go too. Want to say hi to Morgan? Want to say hi to Morgan? She came to see you. She didn't come to see her mother, even though I bought her a gift. Say hey to Morgan. Say hey to Morgan. And say hey to Eve. Say hey. Say hey to Mar Say hey to Marshall. She said you were super, super cute. Say hey to Morgan. Oh, he's looking at the camera a little bit. Where is Morgan? Did she leave? Did she go? We don't know. Okay. Back over here. Morgan, I gave him chicken today. He had never done that. Okay. So all I'm doing is whatever I'm doing to one side, I'm doing it to the other side since it's a butterfly and there was symmetrical. And I'm just doing random colors. All right, let's go with yellow. I'm trying to do this fast. You have a sick puppy? Oh no, what's wrong? What's wrong with your puppy? Y'all, I'm looking forward to using the freehand markers. They're very thick. I like them a lot. These. I like these a lot. They're very, very thick. What's wrong with your puppy, Amanda? Milo doesn't get sick very often. He had an ear infection back in November. November? Colitis. What is that? Uh, 
Uh, Kristen, did you tell me how to prime these? Maybe it's something I need to do because maybe uh -uh. they ain't feeling it. They feeling really light. But maybe it'll get darker as I go. Just using random color. I don't want to use pink. Let's go back to red. Thank you. That looks it's gonna look really, really good. Put some orange in here. I hope these will get darker, y'all. Put some orange up here. Not a pink or Marilyn. Uh, maybe a brown. Hey, CJ Sparks. What are we doing on the other side? Y'all ain't even remind me. If this <laughs> if this mug don't turn out good, it's gonna be a giveaway. <laughs> what did you win? A mug. We can really see. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Uh oh, I already messed up. Let's put orange right there. Color this orange. This orange. This and this. Yellow. Look, that's gonna be red. Is that? Oh, that's green. Got to do it green. Green. It's gonna be great. Green. I'm gonna turn on my mug press when I get close to the end. What else? Oh, green it right there. Second one. And let's do red. Let's red that thing up. Red. I'm just trying to stick with the color. Do the markers work like infusible ink sheets? Yes. Yes. This is my first time using this brand though, this Artist Spree. So we're just trying it out. Just trying it out. Seeing if we like it. Let's, let's hit it with the blue right here at the bottom. Blue it up. Blue, blue, blue it up. And we blew it up right here. Let's see. Blue and blue. What color is that? <laughs> I don't even know what color it is. We'll just, we'll just do red. We, we don't know. Red. Well, we don't know. It's red. 
Ya Allah. Ya Allah. Oh, <laughs> didn't match. It's gonna be great. Let's let's um let's brown the body. Even though I don't even know if it's supposed to be brown or black or I don't know. It's gonna be what brown today, and we're not talking about cows either. The brown cow has speckled spots. Y'all, I should have used the big ones, but we'll use them on the next one while this one is going. It's gonna be our practice butterfly. Oh, this is getting ready to be good. What would you say, baby, when coloring page? Yes. Yep. All of that stuff that y'all are saying is right. It's going to be great. Peter is down there. Oh, you know what? If I did this part of the body brown, then I need to do the whole thing brown. Did Morgan ever come back? Brown cow has what? Speckled spots, baby. Speckled spots. Y'all, I was so excited when I got that laser to just <laughs> do my name. I'm telling you, you would think that I cracked the code for the fountain of youth. I was so excited. But you also should have seen how far, how sh far stretched across the room that core was because I didn't know that you could only do US uh, Wi-Fi after you connected as USB. Y'all. I'm not good at coloring. Obviously, but it's going to be so much better with those freehand markers. Watch, <laughs> you better be. I've already said it, can't take it back. about to be yellow. Madison, my daughter Madison would be so good at this. She's so, she, she pays attention to detail. So like this would probably drive her bananas that I didn't use the exact colors on both butterflies. Like, oh my God, the fourth spot down is different from the third, like girl. Get a hobby. <laughs> You're really worried about the wrong thing, okay? Um, bye, Krista. Should I color the rest of this in? Should I color in the body? Yes, what color? Brown. Black, brown, orange. What color? Orange. 
Red, let's go, let's try orange. It's going to be great. I can just feel it. I think, I hope. We're getting ready to know what we really like artist brief tonight. Y'all, this tip is very thin. Look at this. See how thin this is? Now, if I was making a video, this would be sped up. I wouldn't. <laughs> like, no, no, sit here and watch me color this in. Thank you all for uh, tuning in. Hopefully you've learned something tonight. I have enjoyed it so far. I learned that y'all like the thin markers and I don't. I learned that. Oh, I think it's going to be so pretty. Artist free. I have seen other um, crafters use these. I got this from participating in sublimation camp last year. So I didn't I didn't purchase these. They like came in a like a gift box. But to me they're so far acting just like the cricket brand like they Feels very light. Hopefully when I press it, it's going to come out vibrant. We'll see. I'm trying to hurry up. I think it's going to be great, Kelly. Did you say you got your package? Bye, Amanda. I missed that part, Kelly. I asked and then I didn't look back at the chat. Hey, Miss Joy. <laughs> Did Kelly ever respond? I know my um chat lags. Lolita, what 49ers football shirt are you talking about? I, I kept seeing that. I thought you were joking. What 49ers football shirt are you talking about? What What are you talking about? You... you I didn't do a giveaway. If I did, please remind me. I don't know if I was present for my giveaway. <laughs> that would be something I would do. Please refresh my memory. And we're going to find out which one of us is mistaken. 
I kept seeing you saying that. I kept I'm like, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I kept thinking you were making a joke. Every time I saw it, I'm like, but now you're saying it again, like it's clearly you're not joking. Who did a giveaway? Did I when when did I do a giveaway for that? Oh, okay, Kelly. <laughs> well, Lita, did you did you make that up? Did you make up a giveaway? Michael, did she make up a giveaway? I think she did. Because I'm look, I I when I do a giveaway, I try to send it out the very next day because I don't like that kind of stuff lingering over my head. What 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 when when was that? Please, please. Please refresh my memory. I need dates. I need times. I need locations. I need video. When was that? Was anybody else present besides you? I don't need the Gina. Okay, so I colored one in orange. I don't think I colored it in all the way. I promise every time I saw you say that about a giveaway, I was like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I honestly, don't remember doing a giveaway of a 49ers. What did you say I gave away a 49ers? I made 49ers and the Chiefs. But remember, I said I made that as a challenge to myself to see if I could do it. This lady asked me if I could do a custom football and I did, but I I don't remember giving it away. I don't remember that. But if you, I mean, tell me what video so I can go back and watch it because I have been wrong plenty of times and I have no problem sitting in the shirt to you if if I said that <laughs> but I'm not even gonna lie every time you said it you were like I still haven't received my 49er shirt I was like oh that's so cute that's all I kept saying to myself oh that's so cute all right so I didn't color this bottom in red let me do that look at my journal I yeah I didn't But if you tell me what video, I promise I will send it to you. No, no joke, no, no joke. And hopefully I'm not offending you. I, I would not, um, I like to give stuff away. So I would have gladly have given it, given it, you know, but I would, I feel like I would have remembered that. I try to remember that kind of stuff because I try to send them right away. But just tell me what video. I will definitely get it out to you. I made I made a 49ers and a, a Chiefs. I made I put both of them on a 
I put one of them on a hoodie and one of them one of them on a shirt. Now, no, I, I honestly, I love to give and not not to receive. Um, I think when you give, you should be giving to give, not giving to receive. Like, just give because you want to. Like, it, it, it honestly makes me, it makes me feel good. But I also feel like uh, my memory is not, you know, it's not really my memory. My memory is not so good. But I do try to remember if I've, you know, told somebody I was going to give them something, because I honestly, no joke, no matter how tired I am, when I do giveaways, I prepare them the same night. So even if I don't clean up after myself, I'll still prepare the stuff to go out the next day. Uh, because Peter has to pass the post office to get to work. And so he always takes it for me. And I don't, I mean, I, I, I like to have it ready. So I don't, I don't like to have it like lingering, like, oh, I got to prepare these packages. Like I'll stay up to do that and before I, before I leave him up here. I don't know if I win some, I want it the next day. Herb is in my stuff. <laughs> I want my stuff and I don't want to wait. No, you don't, Donna. You don't. I honestly bought the cover for that because I saw it like that on uh, Heat Transfer Warehouse when they go live on Instagram. That's the only reason I bought that. Because none of my other heat presses have a cover like that. I'm just telling you the truth. Like, oh, my stuff. Hurry up. Did you send it yet? No, I'm still alive. But did you send out my package? <laughs> I'm not asking you if you live. Did you send out my package? All right, let me turn on my uh, mug press so I can start heating up. Cause I'm almost at the end. If I win, honey, I want my stuff that day. These are not going to be identical butterflies. So they're not going to be twins. They're going to be more like cousins. <laughs> okay. They're not going to be twins. They're going to be like cousins. Okay. So they're still going to be in the same family, but they're not going to be like exact. Okay, they're gonna be like little cousins. Okay, still gonna be great. Like you and your cousin sure do look alike, don't we? Yeah, it's gonna be good, y'all. They will. They can. They can still be sisters, and they can have the same what, daddy. They can have the same father, or they can have different fathers. Okay, either one. Whatever works. Like, girl, who you look like? I look like my daddy. She looks like her daddy. Who looks like the mother? Nobody. Good 
This is going to be so good. Now the other one's going to go fast because using those big markers, the freehand. All right. It's going to be so good. Patreon. Mm -mm. We're getting ready to see. Hope it's all colored in good enough. Hey, dudes. Okay. <laughs> Kawanda, I don't know. Don't listen to me, okay? Because look, this one, this one right here is a little more filled in than this one right here, but they're going to be all right. Okay. Uh oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so I'm going to take my mug, right? Mug. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit so y'all can see it. And sometimes I'll use like a roll of tape. I still do this just to hold it for me, like hold it in place. Like when I don't feel like getting my cup cradle for craft. <laughs> That's what PYD Life calls their thing, right? So then you can just take it and then, you know, wrap it. And the, the little roll of tape will hold it in place for you. Right, so that's good. Now I get some uh, tape, heat resistant tape. Make sure it's straight. You think it's gonna look good, Tracy? Cricket, y'all, you be moving so fast. That's so good. Okay. We're getting ready to see. We're getting ready to see. Yeah. So I'm gonna put tape right here, like in the middle. And then down the side on both. We're getting ready to see if we like these. Artist spree pens, markers. What are these called? Are these markers? Oh yeah, these are called markers. Yeah, so it can, it'll hold it. You know, I like to do it like that sometimes. I don't feel like grabbing that. I'm not taping the top or bottom because nothing is really at the top or bottom. So I'm not gonna tape that. And uh, I had my Cricut cut this out, right? So that was the other piece. And I'll just use this to wrap around so that I don't get any ink on my on the inside of my mug press. That little extra template. Okay, so we're gonna get this one put in. Let me move my mug press over. Move it over just a little bit like that. Mm -mm. No. I'm gonna put it in. Turn to the side just a little bit so I can make sure all of that is the um, going. And we will let that do what it's getting ready to do. And with this one, I'm going to color it in with the bigger. I'm going to color it in with these. Because these have a much wider um, tip. So if I was... I'm full thing and look this. I'll do both of them do for each mug. Oh yeah, you could. So I'm gonna do better with this one. <laughs> I'm going to do better. Whatever I do over here, I'm going to do it over here. All right. So let's see. Try to be finished.
Now I might not need to use the thick side like this. Oh, that's not even the thick side. Okay, let's see. Whatever I do over here, I'm gonna do it on the same. So hopefully these will be twins while those other ones were cousins or sisters with their own fathers, which is no problem. Color this in. We're going to see which ones work the best. I got to color fast. Oh, gosh. Go fast, Delonda. Hope that's not bothering you. Some people don't like that sound. I'm going to use the other side of this. See how thick this is? Will there be any ghosting? Ooh, I don't think so. This side looks lighter. I don't like it. Why would there be ghosting? <laughs> Milo, what are you working at? Literally nothing. Now when I say, say hi to the people, you mute. Now you got so much to say. We're not doing a lot to say. We're not doing it. Mm -mm. We're not. I'm over here saying say hi to the people. You're looking away like I'm talking to somebody else. Now it's time to bark at nothing. You all on top of it. Get your life together, Milo. Get your life together. You got your priorities mixed up for 2024. Don't look at me like that. I feel you looking at me. Y'all, it's going to be an interesting looking butterfly. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. You ever made something ugly? Like, you know what? I know exactly who I'm going to get this to. And then when they say, oh, it's so beautiful. Like, yeah, I thought of you when I was making it. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. I made this for you because you look so pretty today. But you didn't yesterday now go away well, i have some random thoughts I really do I'll tell you what i was thinking about this morning when i woke up <laughs> i haven't had an argument with anybody in a very long time because I just don't have time for that. I really just don't have time for that. Um, but I was thinking like anybody who still has time to argue, they need to get a cricket. <laughs> I'm not joking. Like if you still have time to argue, you either need to get a cricket or a Romeo or some kind of vinyl cutter. You need to pick up a craft. Because if you have time to craft, you don't have time to argue. 
I don't argue. I just don't, I don't have time. Like, you know what? I would, but I don't even have time for it. So there's that. Look, okay, let's see. Let me get my gloves. Okay. I was almost finished with this one. Listen. I don't have time to argue with nobody. I'm serious. I don't, and I and I'm not gonna make time either. <laughs> like you know what? I don't even have time to argue with you. I got a, I got crafts to make and naps to take. Y'all, it might be really good. I hope so. This one might be a little ghosting. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get a weeding tool. Let's see. Yeah, I don't argue with nobody. Just, I don't have time. Like, and I and I, I'm not gonna make time. <laughs> I just most of the time I just say, oh, okay. I don't love it. The black is too thick. The black overpowered everything. Look at that. The, the thick black overpowered everything. Y'all see that? That's not good. Oh, I'm not happy with that. But we're going to see how the other one turns out. I'm not happy with that. Mm -mm. Did, um, did Lolita ever say what, what video? I, I totally... Mm, it's not good. Let me keep coloring this one and see how it goes. Did Lolita ever say what video? I'm going to keep coloring this one. That black is too thick. It's not good, y'all. I mean, would I still drink out of it? Yeah. But is it cute? No. I would not, like, sell it. Did she ever say what video? Mary, I don't think anybody wants that. Okay, let me keep going. She said February 6th. It was alive when I made both shirts before the Super Bowl. I went live. Okay, I'm going to check. I don't like it. Um, well, Lolita, let me apologize if I did. I'm going to go check. And then if I didn't. Uh... Sorry. She said I did a 
What's the title of the video, Lolita? I can go look up for uh, February 6th. When I was with Patrick? Are you talking about when I was on with Patrick? She said I did a, she said I gave away a 49er shirt. Dimps. On February 6th. I'm sure enough, I'm gonna look it up. I don't either. Was I on with Patrick? I was, <laughs> I was by myself. I just came on and said, let me get his shirt away. So, oh, okay. I was by myself. I was by myself and I said, I'm gonna do a 49ers giveaway on YouTube. Y'all, this one's going to be ugly, too. I should have stick with a color scheme, but I'm not. Y'all don't need to worry about my butterfly. Worry about your butterfly. I'm just showing you how to do it. <laughs> don't worry about mine. You worry about yours. Lolita, was I was I on YouTube or Facebook? We said the team name and stream your picture name. Lolita, I think you might have me mixed up with a different um content creator. I think you might have me mixed up with somebody else. I mean, that's fine. I mean, my feelings are not hurt. not hurt at all. I like when people get me mixed up with other people. I don't think it was me. Whenever I've done a giveaway of shirts, it's most of the time my shirts with my, my logo or something I made during the live. Oh man. I'm gonna go back and look though, February 6th. Because if I said it, I sure, I'm not, no joke. I promise I want you to have it if I said that. I just, in the words of my grandmother, I ain't never heard tell her that. That's what she used to say. 
you say? I ain't never heard tell of that. Ma'am, what are you trying to say? Because I don't know how to talk like that. Don't know what you're saying at all. These gonna be cousins too. Cause I already messed them up. Oh, hey, Miss Parker. Hot tea. I heard a hot toddy. Not hot tea. Just joking. Not really. I don't drink either. Either one of those, hot toddy or hot tea. I actually don't like tea. I don't like the way it smells. You got your fire in this joint? Okay. Y'all, I'm not good at this. But don't worry about my butterfly. You worry about your butterfly. Your butterfly is going to be great. Okay. Oh, wait, I gotta do it over here. Y'all, guess what I'm gonna be doing when I um get off of here? <laughs> I didn't talk preschool. Those kids would have been <laughs> illiterate. I couldn't do it. And be like, okay, it's nap time. But we just woke up. We got to take two naps. We got to take two naps. <laughs> when, they, when their parents pick them up, like, what did you learn today? She said we had to take two naps. That's all they would be doing. Wake up, have a snack, go back to sleep. It wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't be good, okay? We need the kids to... What did Whitney Houston say? I believe the children are our future. Those children would have been for the past, okay? Not for the future. We wouldn't, we wouldn't need them for the future, okay? We want to keep them back there in the past. Mm -mm. Well, what did y'all do after snack? She said we had to take another nap. What'd you do after that? Recess. Two naps. Recess. Snacks. Watch a movie. Go home. Daycares are us. I can't do, I couldn't do preschool. It would have been terrible. Kids would have just been dumb. <laughs> like, you know you fired, right? I would have totally deserved it. I need I have to teach kids that are independent. I need I I'm not <laughs> I'm not good with the little ones. Gotta teach the kids that know how to they already gotta come in with the shoes tied and they Velcro fastened. Because mm -mm. I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, I I think I'm overusing red. I look, 
slap it. it mm -mm. But I knew it was time for me to get out of educate like public education, y'all. I knew, I, I knew, I knew, I, I knew. It was time. It was time. And I got a message for your parents. Let me tell y'all something. I got a message for teachers too. Y'all, let me start with the teachers or the parents. Because I got I have a message for both. February 6th, Kansas City Chiefs. What what is the February 6th, Kansas City Chiefs? Y'all want to hear the message for the teachers or the parents first? I did, Sheila. I need to fix the R. Okay. Teachers. So are the parents, so are the teachers. Let me start with the teachers first. What I want teachers to know and what I I really focused a lot on when I was an administrator is that teachers should come to school prepared. They should come to school come to work prepared to teach. And I think teaching is teaching is a hard job, yes, and I, I'll never take anything away from teachers. I think teachers work hard. It's a hard job because you're working with children and the work you do is important. So don't go to work willy-nilly, not ready to do your job because for example, I make I made this mug, right? Me making this mug and making a mistake on it doesn't impact another person's life, right? If I make a mistake on this, I can put it aside and just make another one. But if I'm working with a child and I'm trying to help them do something or teach them something, I need to be prepared to teach them how to do that thing because I can't just say, oh, you'll get it next year. So... You have to be ready when you come in to work. You should be prepared to do the job that you got hired to do. And every child is different. So you can't just say, oh, well, you, you should already know this because then you're assuming the teacher before them, before you taught them everything they needed to know, which isn't the case. So that's just not realistic. So don't assume that all children should know how to, you know, you should already know your colors or you should already know your number. Sometimes they don't. So you got to work with them differently. So you got to be prepared for different scenarios. You got to be prepared for different things. And you never really know what children go through at home, right? You never really, you never really know. We just have a, a picture in our mind of how kids live, but that's not always the truth. Some kids actually live in their car. Some kids live in hotels. Some kids live in a in a two bedroom apartment with a whole other family. Like you just don't know what the situation is. So if you are in a, a position to not grade homework heavy, homework shouldn't be a big part of their grade because you don't know what their home life is. You're assuming that everybody, you should have done your homework. Why you didn't do your homework? You don't know what they're going home to. You don't know if they have electricity. So homework wasn't important to me because you don't know. You don't know, you're assuming. You're assuming they're going, going home to a parent that can help them with the homework. You're assuming they're going home to somebody that's gonna sit down and take the time with them. And, and that's just not the case. So just because that's what your life is, or that's how you do it with your kids, that doesn't mean that's what it's like for kids when they go home. So if you can, if you are in a position to be a little more relaxed about homework, then be a little more relaxed about homework. It's not the, I mean, if they don't do their homework, let them sit in your classroom for the first 10 minutes and do it. It's not a big deal, okay? It's not. 
like relax. That's that's how I feel about that. Come to work prepared to do the job that you came to do. You're not working on an assembly line. You're working with children who will, you always gonna remember your best teacher and you always gonna remember your worst. You're always gonna remember. You're gonna remember the teacher that cared about you. You, I'm talking to y'all as adults. You remember your, the teacher who cared about you and you remember the teacher who you felt like she really don't want me to be in here. Like they, she really don't care about me. Like, which one do you want to be? Or do you not care? Because really can't be a teacher and not care. That's not, that's not that kind of job. So that's how I feel about, that's my message to teachers. Parents, stop thinking every teacher is out to get your child. Every teacher is not out to get your child. There's actually a teacher shortage. So any teacher that's still there, they either really, really want to be there or they really need a paycheck. So if the teacher is calling about your child, don't just assume that, oh, he don't do it at home. Well, cause you at home and it's different at home and the rules are different at home. You're not trying to sit down and teach 20 kids at a time when little Johnny's at the house with you. Nobody's out to get your child because that takes time. Nobody has time to be out to get your child. It would drive me bananas when parents be like, why you always got something to say about him? Because he's always doing something. I don't have, nobody has time to make up stuff about your child. If the teacher is taking their time to call you, it's because they need your help and they don't know what else to do. And just because your child is the apple of your eye, that doesn't mean they're the apple of the teacher's eye. They can't be. Teach your children to be respectful. That's one thing I never tolerated with my kids. If the teacher did something or said something that was hurtful or, you know, out of line to my child, my child was still going to be respectful. Teach your children to be respectful. They learn that at home. They don't learn that disrespect at school. And you can always tell when the parents are being too friendly with their kids because the kids come to school acting like everybody else is going to treat them like that. Just because you allow your child to cuss at you don't mean I'm going to allow your child to cuss at me. I mean, I, I used to literally hear parents say, I don't see nothing wrong with him saying a D word. Let him say that at home to you. But here it's not okay. Because at this point, parent, what I used to, when I used to have conversations with parents, I would say, imagine your child as, as one of your coworkers. Would you want to work with him? Would you want to be coworkers with your child? The way they act loud, yelling, running, you would think they were crazy. You got to think beyond this. You got to think beyond you because you're not always going to be here. So you got to prepare your children for when you're not here. Your children should know how to act in public and things that are okay at home are not okay in the public. And parents, stop going to the school dressed inappropriately. Nobody want to see your cheeks. Nobody. It's embarrassing for your child. It's embarrassing. Even though your body is banging, your body is banging, baby. Nobody wants to see it at the school. Nobody. Nobody is looking at you like, yes. That's it. Nobody. Okay. I think I'm off my, um, <laughs> I think I'm, 
bought my um uh what, what, what is that thing called soapbox don't wear your pajamas i saw so many pajamas in walmart during christmas time i don't like your pajamas are cute but i should have never seen them why are you wearing your pajamas so why why Just because you can doesn't mean you should. But don't take my word for it. I'm just telling you things I've seen. I was there for 25 years, seen a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff that really shouldn't have seen. All right, I'm gonna color this one orange too. This is a lot of colors. <laughs> Had charm school. It's crazy. Teachers have a hard job. My conversation with teachers, I used to always tell them at the beginning of the year, don't say anything that you think that you can't stand up for yourself for. Because if I can't defend you for it, I'm not going to try. I used to tell them to treat every conversation like it's being recorded. You never know. So don't go in there talking to those kids like you, like you could just say whatever you want to say. And if teachers would treat kids how they wanted their own kids to be treated, there really wouldn't be a need for charter schools. I went to public school my whole life. Charter schools didn't become a thing until years, a few years ago. But if we would just treat the kids the way we want our own kids to be treated, Parents wouldn't, there would be no need for charter schools. When I would see parents come to the school with their bonnet on, I'd be like, oh, you forgot you got your bonnet on? I would just act like it was a mistake. That's not how you conduct business. I'm just tracing the outline, the outline of this. You volunteer? Y'all have not been back. Well, let me see. Have I been back to the school? <laughs> I think I went there one time. It was time for me to go. We had a fourth grade girl and her mama didn't have a problem with her having a boyfriend. I was just, I just was very confused about that. Like what, 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 what do fourth grade boyfriends and girlfriends talk about? And what's the, what's the purpose? Why can't they just be friends? I just didn't, I didn't understand. She's like, I don't see the problem with it. Well, look, that's, hey, at your house. 
<laughs> that's but that's okay at your house. But when they're at school, they're not. Okay. So teach your kids that too, parents, that there are certain things that you can do at home that you can't do at school. Just like us, there are certain things we can do at home that we can't do at work. It's the same thing. Teach your kids that too. Certain things you can do at your house that you can't do when you're at work. Like put your foot on the desk. <laughs> like why you got to have your feet up on the desk? That's not necessary. Okay, we're going to try this one and see how it goes. Do I need to color it in? It's just not necessary. It's just not necessary. I turned it off, Kawanda. Do I need to color this in or no? This is going to be so ugly. Don't color it. Okay. Y'all, I promise I could write a book on the things I feel about public school, but I do feel like teaching used to be a, res a respected profession. And it started getting a bad reputation because of a lot of things that um, some things teachers were doing. but also some of because of what parents allow their children to do. Because a lot of parents really do consider their children their best friend. Like, no, that's my, that's my best friend. You have a, a eight-year-old best friend? I'm going to need you to get some more friends or another cricket. Get two more crickets. <laughs> I need you to have one more cricket, okay? Get yourself one more cricket because... That ain't it. Why? Why? I don't have an eight-year-old best friend. Let me make this down. Let me get another piece of um <laughs> yeah they they you know I, I tell him everything he tell me really people are different y'all people are different One time this lady came to have a meeting with me. <laughs> and I'm not joking. She was literally barefoot. She had like her, her toes were on the carpet. She drove there like that. And I told her I wasn't going to meet with her. And she, she, she said she didn't understand why. I said, because you don't have any shoes. She was like, what does that have to do with anything? Because you shouldn't have got in your car like that. You should not have gotten in your car like that. Like, I work at the school, and I don't even know what the carpet feels like on my toes. I work here. <laughs> like, I'm still here after everybody goes home. And I don't even know what the carpet feels like. You should you shouldn't either. She's like, well, you treat me like I'm ghetto. No, I'm not. But you also don't have on any shoes and you drove here like that. So I mean, just some flip flops. I mean, Cause, mm -mm. no, we're not gonna. You too. Co you more comfortable than me. I cannot.
Oh, um, yeah, I couldn't do it. I could, I just couldn't do it. Because if you're not going to have on shoes, then why do I need to have on shoes? And if neither one of us is going to have on shoes, we don't need to be in a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. This, this is too much. Like you got out of your car, you walked across the parking lot. Like, where's your car from your, to your, you know, to the house? Like, <laughs> you walked to, to the car like that. That didn't feel different. Okay, here's the other mug wrap thing. I found this, Linda. Okay, let me wrap this mug. Let me try the green one this time, y'all. That first one is ugly. Yeah, it was too much. Ooh, this butterfly gonna be different. <laughs> One lady said, what she said, she did something, she had her child do something because of their religion. And so, um, the principal said, okay, well, we need you to just put it in writing. She was like, how you spell religion? Okay. All right. I'm going to, um, bye, Jennifer. I'm going to wrap this around. And, um, yeah, it was, it, 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 it's definitely book worthy. A lot of book worthy moments. But I did enjoy working with the teachers like who really, really wanted to learn, really wanted to like be better teachers. I enjoyed that. And I like connecting with the kids. Um, I like that. But I would have, you know, real conversations with the parents. Like you got to get a hold of, you know, hold of this because you want your child to be employable. You want your child to be able to get a job. And they learn this now. They don't learn it later. Like if your child was acting like this at work, they would get fired. Parents did understand those kind of conversations. Okay, so I got it wrapped around. Wrapping this around too. Yeah. Yo, but I did find like a lot of kids who, in my opinion, a lot of kids who had, for the most part, kids who had severe problems, most of the time, it was because their mom, they were, they were, they were not um, like either their mom was incarcerated or their mom had passed away. Most of the time, severe cases with kids, it was because they were missing their mom. It was very rare when it was like a severe, severe case where the mom was still in their life. Even if they were being raised by their grandparents, they like would resent it. I noticed that a lot. Especially boys. They wanted their mom. I thought that was sad. Really sad. No, most of, like like just not not there. Like either incarcerated or like their mom lost custody. That it would it would be those were the kids who were the most severe. It was the kids who didn't have their mom, and it was hard to 
like you really, if you have a good teacher who understands how to work with a kid like that, they can do well, but it's like, doesn't make a difference if you don't wrap the butcher paper. I would say, yes, it does make a difference because did you see all of that um, ink that was on the butcher paper? So I just, I have it wrapped around. I'm gonna see if this one does better or if I did better. Let me move it over a little bit more. Yeah. You know, but I, I don't know, Nettie, like, I feel like even the kids who had their grandmother, they still, a lot of times they just felt resentment. A lot of the boys I would notice who, if their mom was incarcerated or if she, if, if she like passed away, they, they just, they had it the, the toughest. Not so much for girls, but boys for sure. I used to feel so, so sad for them. I didn't understand. I didn't. I did understand, but I don't know. I guess. I guess the dynamic seemed to be different for a little different for girls. Boys were like very aggressive. Hmm. I saw a lot of stuff that used to make me cry. Yeah. And then I would get attached, you know, like I would get so attached to them. I would get very attached to them. Like boys called them more. anymore. Yes, they did. They did a lot of lashing out. I remember this family was living in a, a hotel. Like the mom and dad had they had seven kids and they were in like a one bedroom hotel. And um we it was a it was like we couldn't have kids in our car, like our personal vehicle. We couldn't drive the kid and I, I understood that, but um, I don't know. Once I was like getting, I felt myself getting so attached. So I would, um, I would have to go get a car, like a, a district car so I could go get the little girl so she could participate in the other activities with the kids. I was just, a, I don't know. I was, I was just getting attached, attached, but they moved away. Yeah, some teachers do just want a paycheck. You can tell. And I used to always be on them heavy. <laughs> I would be on them heavy. If I knew they just wanted a paycheck, I would, I would be on them a lot. They would like you again. Yes, me again. Hey, we about to be in here together. We shall see how this turns out. Yeah. I wanted her to, because the kids used to be able to go on field, the girls were going on the field trips and stuff. And she, you know, they had to be at the school at a certain time. And her mom didn't have a car. So. Yeah, teaching is hard. It is hard. It is hard. But really, if you start to form relationships with the kids, they love you. And it, and they won't, when they love you and they know you love them, they most for the most part, they won't misbehave. When the kids know you love them, they won't. And I didn't send kids to the office like, no, you're going to deal with me. 
<laughs> you ain't going to the office. You gonna do? You gonna be ready with me? Only time I sent kids to the office is if they got into like a a fight, fight like a big fight. But otherwise, they were gonna deal with me. Hopefully y'all have learned something. Look, I got on my soapbox. This be a soap for three years. Teaching is a hard job. Mm -mm. You have to love kids. You have to love teaching, but you also have to love kids. Music history lesson. And they know it, Milo, you're doing too much to yourself. You got your go own bath going on. Y'all hear all that licking noise in the background? There's nothing over there to lick, okay? I just want you to know that. He is doing a lot. Not easy, Tracy, I know. Tracy, you should join my Facebook group. Cricket is not easy, that's true. I agree with that. Got one more light. Oh, really? I wouldn't have done well uh, low later with ones and twos, I'm telling you. <laughs> Those kids would have just, I'm telling you, they would have been wide awake when their parents picked them up. <laughs> but like, why do you have so much energy? Because I had two naps and a whole bunch of snacks. <laughs> okay, let's see how this one turned out, y'all. Let me get my gloves. They tell you, the parents pick these kids up, baby, they will be wide awake. They'll be running out to the car. <laughs> what did you learn today? Nothing. You still don't know how to tie your shoe? No. We on Velcro. <laughs> we on Velcro, baby. Okay, so this, this one might have done a little better. Baby, Marshall, that's it. That's it right there. Two naps, three snaps, and a movie. And a movie. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're going to see if this one did better. We're going to see if this one did better. I'm telling you. They would never be, you know how kids sleep on the way home? Uh-uh, not, not if I was their daycare teacher. They would be wide awake when their parents picked them up. <laughs> wide awake, ready for whatever. What did you learn? Nothing. Bring some more Velcro tomorrow. You don't know how to button? You don't know how to zip? Mm -mm. Buckle, no, you know how to do nothing. Okay, so uh, CJ Spice, you were asking, does it matter about the butcher paper? So if I didn't put the butcher paper on this, all of this ink would have been inside my mug press, but I don't have any ink inside my mug press because I always put butcher, butcher paper in there. So it stays clean, okay? All right, so let's see. Y'all, I will not be live tomorrow. I'm going to do a, a video. Um, it's going to be rhinestones. So, you y'all go ahead and watch the video anyway, even if you know how to do it. Okay.
Oh yeah. This one is not so bad. This one is not so bad. Now I could have done better. I could have gave him a body. Could have gave him a body. Doesn't have a body, but it's not so bad. So this one is better. I like, I like these better, y'all. These are the infusible ink freehand markers. They're thicker. I like them better. Now, is it perfect? No, but did you, if you've never used markers before, hopefully you learn how to use, you know how to use them now. Whatever you draw, whatever your image is, change it to pen and don't forget to mirror the image, okay? Now this one is better. Let's look at the other one, even though I did, should have put it in the trash. <laughs> look at that, because this is too, first of all, the black is too overpowering. The black is just doing way too much. The black is, is too thick. So I feel like if I had done a thin, you know, use the thin markers and colored. It's just too much. Like this one look like he got like a little rash. <laughs> what is that, a rash? <laughs> Get you some calamine lotion or something. Okay. But hopefully you learn the process, okay? Uh, Cricket Crafting with Delanda. Cricket Crafting with Delanda, okay? You like the black one? Yeah, it looks like David. Uh -uh. <laughs> David said it looks like a monster. It does, David. You did not lie. You told the truth, David. It's, it's, uh, it's not, um, my feelings don't get hurt easily baby still drink out of it I, I still like it i still i mean no that's not true that's not true that's not true i don't like it i do not like it but don't worry about it that's number one and number two you can learn how to do this that was the goal right to teach you how to do this so mine is not good it's not even great from good to great no from bad to worse yes but as long as you learn the process, that's all that matters. Okay. Okay. As long as you learn the process, that's all that matters. Okay. And you learn, you know, if you like the artist free, I personally like these because I like the thicker tips. I do. I just do. I do. I do. Um, it's better than horrible. <laughs> I'll take it. You can still drink out of it, but yeah, I like this one better. No, nah, I should have stuck with the color scheme. I didn't because I'm not good at that. That's not really my thing. You know, like how on this one, I just did not this one. Just kidding. <laughs> I just did red, yellow and green. I just stuck with three colors. So maybe if you just stick with three colors, right, then you good. Right. OK. Where do I get? the these i linked them below kelly but they also i have seen these at michael's i have not seen them at hobby lobby and i don't know about joanne's but i have seen these i actually got these from michael's can't i still color on it with the markers I would have to get more paper and add it again, the process, okay? Coffee's still gonna taste the what? Exact same, okay? Let's do two giveaways and then we're gonna get out of here. Let's check the goal. The goal was to learn how to use infusible ink markers with the Cricut Mug Press. Yay, Amanda. Did we accomplish the goal? 
There we accomplish the goal. Cut. Because <laughs> one is ugly and the other one is not as ugly. Okay, we accomplished the goal. Let's do two giveaways. The giveaway is of my logo. I love crafting with Delonda. Now, if I send you this, right, the one that's with black and red, just don't put it on black. You can put it on white. You can put it on gray. You can put it on pink. You can put it on blue. You can put it on any other color except black because then you won't be able to see the I love. And that's the most important part. Um, if I send you the other color, the one that looks like this, the one that's red and white, then you can put it on black. You can put it on white. You could, no, no, don't put it on white. You can put it on black. You can put it on gray. You can put it on blue, pink, purple, whatever color, right? Okay. All right. And um, I also have one that says, I enjoy crafting with Delonda. So whichever one you get is, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready? Y'all, thank y'all for letting me uh, clear my mind to go on that little, go on my little um, soapbox about teachers and parents. Hopefully I didn't offend anyone because that was not the goal, okay? Never to offend anyone. And if you get offended easily, um, you need to get another cricket. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got to say is if any, if you get offended very quickly, you don't have enough crickets. Okay, because cricket will offend you enough for the you know rest of the month at least. Try try doing a contour. Try doing a offset. You will be offended for the rest of February. Okay. And you know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. You know, but but am I lying? Logo two. Logo two. That's what you're doing. Logo two. That's what you're doing. Logo two. Logo two. And while y'all are doing that, I'm going to be writing down the winners. Kimberly Smith was number one. You have to be in the United States. Shay Shay won a shirt shirt. Shay Shay won a shirt shirt. Shay Shay won the shirt shirt. If you weren't in here when I demonstrated how to press, then you can just rewind. I demonstrated how to press these. They also come with the instructions and they come with the uh, parchment paper. Okay. It's, we've been on it for three hours. Y'all didn't tell me nothing. Five, four, three, two, one. We've been on here for three hours. Oh my gosh. Shantisha Nay Brown. I hope I said your name right. Shantisha Nay Brown. Shantisha Nay Brown. Shantisha Nay Brown. Are you in the United States? Shantisha Nay Brown. Are you in the United States? Are you in the United States? Shantisha Nay Brown, are you in the United States? Or do I need to pick another one now? Shantisha Nay Brown. Y'all know my chat lags, so she might have said yes already, but I didn't see it. 
Okay, Sean Tisha Nay Brown. All you have to do is email me at craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Email me your mailing address and I will send it out. Sean Tisha Nay Brown, uh, craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Logo three. And you can only win once. You can only win once. Logo three. Logo three. Logo three. If you missed it when I press, just go back to the beginning. And you will be able to see it. Let me grab this shirt. All right, five, four, you have to be in the United States, three, Two, one. Mary Brown, that's a familiar name. Mary Brown. All right, somebody type in that the giveaway is over. Mary Brown, you already have my email address. Congratulations to all the winners. Yay, congratulations. So tomorrow, you guys, I will not be on live. Tomorrow is Romeo Wednesday at 5. Um, this is what I will be demonstrating how to make. This is the newest template. This is the one that says chosen. Um, so I'll be demonstrating how to do the um, heat transfer vinyl and the rhinestone template. So I just did it a couple of times. This is all glitter vinyl. You don't have to use glitter vinyl. I just like glitter vinyl. I'm like a glitter vinyl hoarder. To thine own self be what? True. Um, so I'll just be demonstrating how to cut the template, how to brush it in, how to get the colors to line up. And um, I'll be doing it with the heat transfer vinyl and with the rhinestone templates. That's what will be the video tomorrow. I need y'all to watch the video for tomorrow okay and then uh thursday the goal is to be finished with the laser tutorial for the we create okay so thank y'all so much let me say my say i'm gonna get out of here thank y'all so much for joining me thank you for giving me your time i know that your time is a treasure because to me your time is something you can't get back so i always just want to be in a, having a heart of gratitude when someone gives me their time. I do appreciate that very, very much. Um, if you are a winner, if you want a logo or a shirt, please email me at craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Send me your mailing address, your first and last name, not your YouTube name, because the mailman don't know you like that, right? Put your name. Um, and I will get it sent out to you. You have 48 hours to do that. If you don't send it to me within 48 hours, then your prize is null and void. Um, Y'all don't engage in road rage. It's not worth it. It's just, it's not worth it. It's people are going through stuff and they take it out where? On the road, right? So when you leave your house, your goal should be to get back to your house. No matter where you're going, if you, even if you're just going right down the street, your goal should still be to get right back to your house. So if, if somebody honks their horn at you, if they're trying to race you to the red light, if they want to, you know, go in front of you, if they want to turn without a signal, just tell yourself they have to use the bathroom. Maybe their blinker isn't working. Maybe they just love to race. Maybe they have a need for speed, right? Whatever, whatever. You don't have to give them a finger. You don't have to give them a, you know, let me tell them how I feel. You don't have to do any of that. That's not your, that's not your job. Okay, your job is to just get back home. That's it. My job is to not have ashy lips, but y'all didn't help me with that. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go on with my life. Okay? 
Now, y'all be good to each other. Don't engage in roll rage. Turn your music up. Keep your eyes on the roll. Let me let y'all say bye to Milo. I want to say bye to the people. You want to say bye to the people? Did Dim say bye to you? She didn't even know you could talk really, really good. And Meredith didn't even know you could talk really, really good. Say bye to Kelly. Say bye. Say bye to the people. We're not doing sugar. Okay. Y'all be good to each other. And if nobody has told you they love you, I love you. Okay. Say bye to the people. Did you say bye to the people? Okay. We got to say bye. We got to close it out. We got to close it out. My love, you say bye to the people. Let me say bye.